Hi guys, Dave from Real 3D East Melbourne. Hope you're training hard. If you're training hard, what's very important is your recovery. One of the great ways to help your recovery and the stretch of the muscles, massage the muscles, is good old foam roller. If you haven't got one of those, get these in any sort of sports store. If not, if you're in the gym, get one of your trainer or your trainer to show you how to do a few exercises if you've got some tight muscles or some sore spots. Today I'm going to show you just a few exercises you can do to stretch out those muscles. What the foam roller does, helps release the muscles, stretch them out. There's also what we call fascia tissue, which is connective tissue to your muscles, helps release that as well. So if you've got any tight muscles, it's a great way to release that. It's another way of doing almost like a self-massage. So very really important as part of your recovery. All right, so first I'm going to show you to do is the thigh or the IT band. So sit it on your hip, and what you're going to do is ro slowly roll down until you find a tight spot, okay? Hold it for about 15, 20 seconds, and then release it. And what you're going to do is gradually work yourself down towards the knee. You don't want to roll like a rolling pin, slow release. That'll help release the tight muscles like so. So you do that, maybe 30 seconds to a minute, both legs, just to release the muscles. You do that both sides. Okay, good knee pain, it could be because you're tight for this area as well. No one for the quads, all you do is roll onto your thighs, be careful of your guy, and this same principle applies. So roll slowly down your thighs, take that tight spot, find it, hold for about 20, 30 seconds, deep breath in, breathe out, breathing's very important, and repeat the process like so. So I said before, 30, 30 seconds to a minute, but I say, go as long as you like. If you feel a bit tight, tight, you might allow a bit more time for this uh, workout. So that's for your sort of quads, okay? If you turn the foot toes inside a little bit, you also get a little bit of the groin sort of stretch out as well. So you can do that as well while you're there, okay? If you turn over onto your hamstrings, okay, if you're quite tight, lift the one leg off the ground and roll slowly down that leg on the outside. And turn the foot in a little bit and roll the outside, inside of the hamstring, and repeat the process like so. Of course, you've got two legs, you do it both sides. Now, the one for the party, especially the walkers and runners, is the calves. Get very tight. So roll down one side of the calf, turn the foot in, and do the same thing. Again, if you feel tight, you want a little spot, try to hold that spot for 30 seconds to a minute like so. Okay, so that's the calves, wrap body, the lats, good spot here. Let's go side on to the roller, take a little bit of body, hips off the ground, and slowly roll the lats. Especially the guys that do a lot of pull ups and pull downs, any back work, good release for, for the, uh, the lats there as well. All right, all right. Also, it's good for a little bit of mobilization. So just to get that spine moving, so find the roller, sit it about mid back to below the bloat line of shoulders. Now make sure you support your neck and just gently just rock back. Now if you feel discomfort, don't, don't go that far. Be quite tight, especially for the guys who work in the office, just gently build up like so, up and down like that. All right, from there, and then also the up back, just take the pressure off your back. So your backside off the ground, just gently roll. Again, find that tight spot, hold it, and hold it for about 30 seconds to a minute, and then slow release like so. All right, so there's a couple of exercises you can do for the foam roller. Again, if you've got any questions, see the guys down here at Real Fit East Melbourne and give you a few points on the foam rollers. Keep recovering, keep stretching, keep filling up, and we'll talk to you soon. Have a good day.